Hello boys and girls, we are on Mars, we are attempting to awaken it and uh, well, you can tag along and uh, laugh at my failure. So for now, it's all about growing shit. I know these. Scanning! This organic matter exhibits no current biological activity. It may be a sessile remnant. Left over from a deceased life form. Similar to a tree trunk, perhaps. Yes. And this is a, another great example how much you learn by just throwing shit at other shit. Another transmission from Octo Hardware. Yay. Here is the image from the camera module. Hmm. These could not be rock formations, could they? I know they all point upwards like stalagmites. Please note this scale reference. It is likely this is a fighter. <laughs> then these are very large structures. Fascinating. Please indicate the location of this signal on my map, Art. Okay. 
okay and it has gone dormant. What about the other ones? Oh yeah. These buggers have woken up. <laughs> they are quite awesome. I get it what they mean by viable offspring. It means if uh, if it throws a seed and it bursts, then it doesn't count. If you catch it or plant it, then uh, then it has to rest. <laughs> Shy face huggers. Okay, but I know what you like. Uh huh. Research. Observation regarding organic matter is erroneous. Huh. Despite an extensive period of inactivity, this previously unknown life form of Mars is able to exhibit measurable livelihood. Art, do you have any settings to control the frequency of your dialogue? Yes, <laughs> I am currently in normal mode. This is all 
also verbose and terse. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's even a requirement at some places that you go back and, uh, and bring back uh, either uh, go back to gather stuff or, uh, or take back some stuff to the previous, uh, previous maps.
that's how we humans communicate. Oh, okay. It's maxed out. So yeah, I don't know if, uh, if reaching the biomass maximum uh, is, is meaningful in the game's context, but I want to try it anyways. Inquiry is prepared. <laughs> you have a question? Yes. Dr. Ronga classifies my dialogue module as Chatterbox. Also, is this the classification of Dr. Key? You need not be concerned, Art. I should be worried for my survival. But instead, I find I appreciate the peacefulness of these caves. That is all. <laughs> Inquiry is resolved. <laughs> That ledge to place. No, 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 don't burst now. Oh, I think I have. I have maximum water. in certain types of terrain. Hmm. See the research log for more data. Yes, more data. Of course, spoiler, spoiler, I already know how to how to grow it. It felt more like snatching. So basically they can be uh, distracted uh, by other stuff. Sí. 
is where my not so platformy. Ow! Not so platformy player skill. Oh, it was already wet. Fuck. Or it excels. I bet it's going to be hilarious. Uh, to watch, I mean. It's certainly not for Dr. Leah here. It's most probably going to get. Ah, oh, 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 oh. at least going to get his ass pigeon. If he's not gonna get killed. Okay, distraction time. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Places more than once because I have got the impression that <laughs> that uh, there are multiple multiple paths to, uh, to discover here. Yeah. 
here. But they are having fun at least. Actually, I'm, I'm going to exploit the map. <laughs> okay, so now I'm back at the cave's beginning. Uh, okay, so the game just jumped to desktop once again. Need to 
return to this uh, more difficult part. dangerous life form we've encountered so far. I wonder what their role is in this ecosystem. Please be wary. Of the known Zoa, Brags contribute the most biomass and are the only Zoa that grow in acidic terrain. Of course. I did not mean to imply that the Prax are not useful, nor that I should never plant them. Alert! Brags Zoa are capable of providing <laughs> death to humans and deactivation to computer hardware with biting attacks. Exactly. That is the balance to consider. <laughs> Was he just being snarky at the computer? Okay, so I'm going to cross the level changer, at which point I, I think uh, my progress is saved, and then return and see if there's anything interesting in the bottom. Right. Wait, did they eat all the little buggers? Uh, that would be a shame. Oh no, they didn't. 
to make do with that little corner. Art, what are these structures? They are an order of Zoa, characterized by extreme largeness. <laughs> we will call them Megazoa. So, no, they are shouldn't. alive. <laughs> yes, these Megazoa feature extraordinary physical durability for organic matter. We will call this exact species of Megazoa, Calamitosia. <laughs> Attempt to scan their interior for more data. Okay, I, I already know that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy now, there's a way in here. I have completed scanning this Calamitosia. These Megazoa are characterized by microscopic cilia used for a respiration process that is extremely efficient. The Calamitosia appear to be evolved for life on a planetary surface of conditions not hostile for ongoing livelihood. More hospitable than the surface of Mars today, I assume. Yes! These Calamitosia also contain extremely long root-like organs, which appear to have prehensile properties. Okay, what does our research say? And here is Octo's camera module. These are the structures seen in his transmission. I am acquiring data from the module. Attention! Octo intentionally left this module within transmission distance of the prior module. Yay! But we did not pick up this transmission when we were near the first camera. This camera module is no longer at full power. Hmm. Octo's cameras have lain here for several months. We hope for a chain of communication. It is now broken. Yet another thing uh, I really like about this game is uh, how they have uh, how they are conveying uh, very so very much with uh, quite minimal uh, minimal media. Uh, just a few uh, facial expressions they sort of give 
tell, tell the whole story. Okay, little guy, go away now. I have some planting to do. Ow! Not good, not good. that I didn't take uh, when I was uh, when I was attempting my first game. So, uh, uh oh. Okay, so the game just did its flip to desktop thing.
to reproduce so that uh, the uh, toothy thingy could uh, feed on them. No, no, no. Feed on them. Emphasis on them. Feed on them and produce... No! Produce a seed that I could harvest and plant down there. Oh, actually, I do have one seed. I will better go and plant it. Circle of 
life. The trouble is here, I can't remember where the acidic terrain patches were. Were there more this way? Or what? the part that's uh, that feels similar to the void. This is sort of have to increase the amount of color or the amount of life. Okay, signal this way. Whee! Bounce. I am here. Leon? Is that really you? Oh, thank you. Whew, wow. I mean, of course, I know <laughs> nothing like a silly little enormous destructive cave-in would be enough to kill you. What is the situation? The outpost is just gone. Here's the deal. You need to make your way down to base camp. We can both survive here until the GSA arrives in a few months. They're scrambling a rescue operation right now. The surface conditions are too hostile for that suit you're wearing, so travel through the cave to get here. Hopefully, it actually connects. Uh, <laughs> um, I think it does. So I must climb deeper into left cavern. There is no longer an option to proceed slowly. Yeah, no. You probably have 24 hours of life support left, and the cave is more extensive than we assumed. The GSA says you can continue pursuing safe research opportunities, though. Did you see the area I just passed through? Yeah, I'm uploading your data now. <laughs> Crazy structures, wow. Megazoa. Nice job researching them. <laughs> Covered in cilia? What are they, some kind of breathing apparatus? Huh. I'm not an Forced artist names, though. Ring. We need something colloquial. Can't we nickname them, like, periscopes or something? Hey, and you know that flat plane you were standing on? I think it's the former surface of the planet. Buried billions of years ago by lava from the Tharsis uplift. I'm dying to know what's underneath. Something much older than the lava tubes, that's for sure. Guess you'll find out. Yes, if I don't want to die myself. <laughs> already it grows cold in this suit. Wish me luck, Amani. Good luck, Leon. There's an entrance back into the cave below where you're standing. It will be my pleasure to hand you a cup of rehydrated cider upon <laughs> your arrival. Now get back into that cave. <laughs> In the name of science! Action! I'm trying to make 
take out what that uh, patch uh, shows on your shoulder, but it's... Uh... Art, what can you tell me about the life form we just passed through? It is a genus of cerebrate. We will call it Byzania. <laughs> this genus thrives at boundaries between the cave interior and the planet surface. It effectively seals these boundaries, protecting the cave from hostile surface conditions. So yeah, basically a membrane. But yeah, uh, the badge uh, on, on her uniform. So she is something that I, the only views we've got of her. Never seen it in full view. Anyway, I think now that we are safe for the moment, it is a good place to take another little rest break. Uh, my tea has gone cold long ago, but anyway, see you soon and bye bye for now.